Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. Today we're going to check the stator on a typical three-phase permanent magnet charging system. What we have today is a 94 Magna. It is the typical three-phase permanent magnet charging system, uh, and that is also the same as most of the European stuff. Okay, before you do any electrical work on the bike, you need to make sure that you're careful of any exposed wires. Be careful you don't get shocked. Be careful of any of the pipes that might still be hot. And be careful that there's no fuel leaks. The other thing you want to make sure you do before you attempt any kind of repair work is dig out that manual, get in there, read it, know what you're doing before you get the tools going. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you've uh, taken the side cover off and you've exposed the stator. The stator on the left is a good stator, and the stator on the right is obviously burnt out. So if you have a stator that looks like that, chances are that's your problem. Okay, what we're going to do is look for continuity between all three phases and make sure nothing goes to ground. Using your service manual, you're going to locate where the stator plugs into the rectifier regulator. On this particular model, it's right here. So turn your meter to the ohm setting. <clears throat> We're going to check from A to B, then B to C, and C to A. And we're looking for consistency, and that's what we have here. Now the next test is to make sure that nothing goes to ground. And that's correct. Okay, what we're going to do is start, uh, put our meter to AC volts, and then we're going to start the bike up. Okay, we're going to go from phase one to phase two. About 16 volts. Now two to three. Right there, right, 16 volts. And then three back to one. Right there at 16 volts. What I'm going to do is uh, increase the RPM now. And you can see that the voltage goes up exponentially with the RPM of the engine. All right, if you're a little confused on how to... Uh test that thing, it's much easier to go to the back of the connector. As you can see, I have one probe in one of the phases. I'm going to stick it into the other two, one at a time. That allows you to connect and see all three phases. Okay, so if you're having issues, charging issues with your motorcycle, I hope this video helped you out, and you may want to check out our video on how to check a rectifier regulator. And thanks for watching.